years ago so I'm hoping to pull some luck like that in this video today's video also sorry for anybody with OCD the fact that I have this in a white sleeve and the rest in black sleeves well um, this was the only sleeve I could find because I apparently did not have this in a bind or in a sleeve when I was pulling it out for my binder so if I'm gonna have a chilling and whatnot by the way drip jack drip jack drip jack look at those look at those amazing sleeves right there not a big as fan of my little pony but i love memeing so that's why we have those in those sleeves right there drip jack drip 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 jack leave a like if you like this drip right here also misty is the best waifu let's get into it though let's go crack open some booster packs i'm still gonna like kind of adjust myself a little bit though because um i don't like how my camera is right now so i'm gonna move you guys a little closer So now you guys get to see the microphone and I'm actually really afraid that the microphone's gonna fall because like I don't know I'm trying to get like as close as possible as close as close as close as possible to the microphone uh but it's kind of difficult too you know so we'll we'll see how that goes we'll see how that goes like I said I'm gonna hit this mic like 20 different times a lot of editing I'm gonna have to do and that's part of the reason why I'm so inconsistent with my ASMR videos because <sighs> editing is a pain in the butt also editing my main channel is a pain in the butt but still we'll get through it we'll pull through it and um let's see let's see let's see let's 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 get into it hopefully you guys uh like today's longer asmr video because i'm rambling a little too much that's for sure but let's just get into it also guys let me know if you guys like the um microphone like the microphone close to the um Okay, so without further ado, let's go crack open this box right here. Let's get this sucker open. I'll tell you what, though. I need to buy a new um, camera tripod so that I can have my uh, camera over my desk and like, allow me to get in to give me more space. Because, like, as you can see right here, my camera tripod right now is, like, on the uh, bottom right of my table. So there's not a lot of room. As you can see, you can see my hand down here because there's just no room on my desk. I need to get one that's just directly over my desk, man. And I do not have a trash can. I am so unprepared. I am so unprepared for today's video. Oh, my goodness, dude. I am so unprepared. So unprepared. that I'm going to have to do in today's video is going to make me go insane because part of the reason why I'm so inconsistent is because i got to edit, um, edit the video and I am not the biggest fan of editing videos. It's just, just not my thing. Anyways, let me see if I can open up this box without knocking out my microphone because there's like no room on my desk because I can't even like set this box down. There we go. Hey, look at that. We got some booster packs. We got some mega packs. So we already know what cards we're going to want to go for. We're going to want some Drone Lockbirds, Delinquent Duos, and Ash Blossoms. Those are the best cards to pull from the set. We also have some promos here, which I don't know if I should open them up, but I th yeah, we'll open them up. It, it doesn't really matter too much to me. I already have these cards and whatnot, but we might as well open them up uh, for just the sake of the video. I don't really think much people would really care about sealed promos from this set because they're probably out there anyways. So we'll open them, we'll open them, we'll open them up. So the only scissors that I got lying around here are the kindergarten scissors here. The kindergarten scissors. Very quiet, very quiet. They make quiet sounds. And we're going to go open up these promos here. We're going to open up the promos here. I don't know where the plastic went there. It went. Let's see what promos we got in store today. And it looks like we're opening up the promos like this. That is a okay with me. So one of the first promos we got right here is Goddess of Sweet Revenge right there. So this is a hand trap that I don't think I've ever seen any play. But if you have no cards in your hand, um, while you control no cards, and this is the only card in your hand, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can discard this card and destroy as many cards as possible. Your opponent controls then especially one monster from your deck. So this card's like literally the anime card. Last card in your hand. You pull this out. GG to your opponent. You're making a comeback. I wonder, does that any of you guys in the comment section down below faced against this card before? Let me know what your Yu-Gi-Oh! anime story is, because that's funny. We have the King of D. This guy right here uh, becomes King of D while on the field when you summon him. Uh, this card, when at normal summon it, you can discard a spell and trap card to add the flute of summoning dragon, the melody of the wicked dragon, or dragon revile 
SP from Redactor and to get to search for that spell card and be able to use those spell cards to search for dragon monsters like Blue Eyes Over Dragon. So the King of D is a Chad. We next up have Destruction Dragon. We have to use the Fang of Critias and Ring of Destruction and once per turn, or so you use Fang of Critias and Ring of Destruction, the fusion summon into this card. Once per turn, it can target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. And then if it was a monster card, inflict damage to your opponent equal to its original attack. So this card is pretty spicy right here. So you can just blow up any of your opponent's monsters right there and then make them take a lot of damage. So this card's actually pretty OP. Like, yeah, like it doesn't see any competitive play, but like if you pulled it off, you can do some fun stuff. It's not really that OP. Um, this card right here combos with the King of D right here. This card right here states uh, if you control spellcaster monster like King of D, uh, you can target two dragon monsters in a graveyard, including air at least one normal monster, aka Blue Eyes White Dragon. You can special summon them from your graveyard. Your opponent, dra your opponent takes no damage this turn. You can activate one of these per turn. And the last promo is Loop of Destruction. This card becomes Ring of Destruction while on the field. Once per turn, if a monster on the field is destroyed by a card effect, except during the damage step, you can target one monster on the field, destroy it, and if you do, each player takes 500 damage. So we got some fun uh, little promos. Honestly, a lot of fun for anime decks. But other than that, they're not that competitive, unfortunately. Uh, it's just, yeah, they're just not that competitive. They haven't seen any competitive play as far as I know, but they're still fun cards to play with, that's for sure. Next up, though, let's get to the Mega Packs out. So I believe we get four Mega Packs. We got one. Oh, we might only get three here. I might be getting scammed, boys. Only three Mega Packs. Luckily, though, Mega Packs come with a decent amount of cards here. We got ten cards per pack. And on top of that, too, these always come with a game board. And I think game boards are really nice because it makes it ten times easier to play Yu-Gi-Oh! while on, like, carpet and whatnot. I've done this a couple times with my baby brother where... Fang of Gradius. 
Rodriguez and Crush Card Virus in order to summon it to this guy. Speaking of which, we got Crush Card Virus right here. You can tribute a dark monster with a thousand or less attack. Your opponent takes no damage till the end of your next turn after this card resolves. Also, you look at your opponent's hand and all monsters they control. And if you do destroy monsters among them with 1500 or more attack, then your opponent can destroy up to three monsters with 1500 or more attack in their deck. So, yeah, a fun little card right there. I know a very overpowered drop card got be used in the show. And we're just getting right onto the cards to synergize with each other. We got a holographic Fang of Critias right here. Looking beautiful. We have a Legend Mystical Genie of the Lamp in a hollow, hollow Mystical Genie. We got a Super Cost Down right here. And we have a, ooh, I'm happy about this right here. Look at this, a Super Dragon Spirit of White. I'm happy with that pack. No money cards, but um, a lot of cards I can use in a little blue eyes deck. Because building blue eyes decks are always fun when you're just doing some casual, just playing with uh, your friends and whatnot, where you're not trying to win. We just don't want to just summon a bunch of big, big, beefy beat sticks and go longer days. So these are going to be helpful for that, that's for sure. cards though and sorry if you hear any background noise guys i'm using my blue yeti for um asmr so it picks up footstep noises around my house way too easily so hopefully they're not too distracting this video has been a mess anyway so if you guys are st awake because of the random noises in this uh, video my bad my bad let's get going though i forgot that they reprinted abc's i think at the time abc's from a uh, legendary uh collection guy but we're pretty sought after these were some reprints that needed to happen because abc's back in the day were really good uh years ago we have c crush wyvern oh look at that beautiful beautiful girl right here we have maiden with the eyes of blue what a beautiful artwork right there that's so beautiful made of the eyes of blue is a cutie we have uh draconity blenix we have a the monarchs stormforth I don't know if this card was worth any money, but I think this card was kind of a good card. Uh, once during this turn, if you attribute a monster for a tribute summon, you can tribute one monster upon it controls as if you controlled it. You only can activate one Monarch Stormforth uh, per turn. During the turn, you activate this card. You cannot special summon a monster for extra deck. Yeah, this is pretty broken because you can still do your battle phase. So you can sack off one of your opponent's monsters and then summon a Monarch. Monarchs were a pretty competitive deck back in the day. Yo, look at this beautiful hollow blue eyes right there. Oh, that looks beautiful, dude. Honestly, this is like my favorite Blue Eyes artwork. I know not everybody likes this Blue Eyes artwork, but this one right here is my favorite. It looks awesome. I'm super, super nostalgic for it. It is such a beautiful artwork. I'm, I'm very happy about that. It's a good pull. We have Shrink. We have our Shrink right here. Nice. We have Ring of Destruction. We have Double Summon. Only recognize this card because of Gemini's. Not good in Gemini's, but it's in the Structure deck. We have a Dragon Ravine, nice, fun little uh, spell card that's seen play here and there because uh, once per turn you can discard a card and then activate one of these effects. You can either search for a Dragoonity monster or you can send one Dragon monster from your deck to the graveyard. So that's pretty spicy right there, like that. And we have a Chain Disappearance, uh, not that good in the TCG and kind of flopped in the uh, Duel Links. It's seen some play here and there in Duel Links. Uh, basically, when a monster with a thousand or less attack is summoned, you can banish that monster with a thousand or less attack. Then your opponent banishes all cards with the same name as that card from the hand attack. Actually, this card's probably seen play in certain TCG formats, but it's not played all the time. But yeah, this card flopped pretty bad in Duel Links. A lot of people were expecting it to do really good, but it just doesn't work out in the, today's current format, but still a cool card so far with this pack opening it's been a lot of just fun cards that i'm like happy to pull but no money cards i have already pulled the money cards you know what i'm saying man the money cards are already pulled from the first edition we're just here just opening up booster packs just to open up booster packs man that's what we're here for and am i cutting the cards hopefully i'm not yeah i don't think so hopefully i didn't i'm gonna not uh, i was having a difficulty just cutting it hopefully i didn't mess up any good cards Risky, risky, risky business. Oh man, I feel, dude, this pack is not cooperating with me. Hopefully, we don't get anything that good then. Whoa, <laughs> did I mess up my Wait, let's. 
Let's look at this. So I pulled a ABC Dragon Buster. Did I mess this card up at all? Uh, I'm trying to see if I messed it up at all on the top. No, I think we're okay. But yeah, like I said, this had a bunch of reprints for the ABC cards that were really popular. So that's a cool pull. Not playing ABCs anytime soon. We pulled another Maiden with the eyes of blue. What's up, girl? How you doing? Always pulling those wifey cards, that's for sure. Always pulling those wifey cards. We have a Vampire Lord, which again, not sure why. Kai, I don't even remember Kaiba ever summoning this card in the show. But it has a summoning animation at Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and Kaiba has a voice line for it. I don't know why it's themed with Kaiba. I really do not know. Maybe I gotta look up a video on him summoning Vampire Lord, but Kaiba is associated with this card for some reason. We have a Tyrant Wing, a fun little trap card that I know from good old Duel Links. Can I give your dragon monster uh, a 400 attack and defense, and you can allow it to attack twice on monsters during each battle phase, two attacks. And then uh, once per turn during the end phase, if the monster equipped with this card, by this effect, attack to both monsters turn, you destroy this card. So it's just a fun little card, but nothing crazy. Looks beautiful in that foil variant, though, that's for sure. We have a Mausoleum a White, a little field spell card for Blue Eyes or Dragon. We have a Rider of the Storm Winds, a really weird tuner monster that I don't really use in my Blue Eyes deck. We have the classic Mirror Force. One of the opponent's monster declares an attack, destroy all your opponent's attack position monsters. Broken. We have a cloning. Get the little clone a normal when a monster gets normal or flip summon. We have Saj with the eyes of blue. This is actually a pretty good pull. I could definitely use more copies of Saj with the eyes of blue. I'll take that. I will take that. That's hype. That's hype. This card's good because you can, uh, when you normal summon this card, you can search for a level one tuner monster like Maiden with the eyes of blue. And on top of that too, if this card is in your hand and you have an effect monster on your field, you can sack off an effect monster and then discard Sage and then special summon a blue eyes from your deck. And you can do any, uh, you can do your blue eyes white dragon. You can do blue eyes white dragon or you can do dragon spirit of white because dragon spirit of white counts as a blue eyes monster in the deck or hand. Very cool. We have a beacon of whites and I think that's the last card here. So no money cards unfortunately like i said these four right here are the money cards from the set not so much rick Eke, but new england duo and draw lock for 20 bucks actually i think new england duo and blossom are 20 bucks i think like all three of these are 20 bucks honestly but um still not bad of pulls if i'm being honest like i will take all these blue eyes cards here to boost up a little blue eyes deck and get a better 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 variants but, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today's ASMR video. I took up enough of your guys' time already. And uh, thank you so much for listening to this video if you're still awake. Um, if you decide to, you know, either wake up at this point or you're still awake, leave a like on the video down below and sub to the channel for more ASMR content. Other than that, it's going to do it for me. Thank you so much, so much, so much, so much, so much for watching. And I'll go see you guys in the next Yu-Gi-Oh! video pack opening video, 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 video.